Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I know that we did. We had Brian's cousin Lisa here and her husband Devin. We spent the day Saturday in Atlanta. Um, touring Pont City Market, tasting some cheese that tasted like poop, and what else did we do? We had a huge, huge barbecue feast at Jim and Nick's, which was delicious. That was the first time I had ever been to Jim and Nick's, and I'm gonna gu guarantee that it's not my last time there. Um, definitely gonna be going back there um, when Brian's parents come in town. So whenever they come back, we are gonna go have dinner at Jim and Nick's. It was that good. Um, then yesterday, they left early yesterday morning to go back to Santa Claus, Indiana. And um, Brian and I vegged out here at the house and did absolutely, positively nothing. Well, not nothing. We did, as you guys can see, get knobs that fit the drawers on the dresser. And then um, Brian mowed the grass and like seriously, we just did absolutely nothing. I mean, I just, we sat around and vegged and I think we watched Harry Potter a lot yesterday. We watched the World Cup with France winning. That was an amazing game. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the dresser and how it turned out. It looks fantastic. I'm super excited about how it turned out. It just looks amazing. Like all of the detail, like we can actually see now, like these stand out so much but I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. I actually have a picture that I'm getting ready to pick up at Walgreens today that's going to fit inside of that frame. Um, we ended up this, for some reason, I think these, um, this handle was actually crooked and I don't know why, like the holes in it were crooked. Um, but I was going to tell you guys something, but it looks great. I mean, Brian's going to fix it so it's straight, but I don't think you guys can tell. But anyway, nonetheless, it looks great. I'm super happy with it. Let me give you guys a little bit of feedback or a little bit of history about this um, dresser. This dresser is about 44 years old. This dresser was Brian's mom and dad's dresser when he was born. I think they said that they got it when he was when he was a year old or they got it before he turned, I don't know. Anyway, Brian and I are 45, that's about 44 years old. So yeah, Brian's mom got that and has had that. And then she gave it to us, oh my gosh, 12, 13 years ago, and it was like um, a really weird 70s green um, color. Um, it looked really cool though, like now. Now it would look cool. Back then it just didn't look all that great. So we ended up spray painting it black just like I did majority of my stuff back then. I spray painted everything black. It had still remained black up until just the other day, and I painted it, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, it was a pain in the butt. Do I ever want to do it again? Absolutely not. I will not. I probably won't, but I will. Probably will. I, I probably will eventually someday maybe paint it. Um, but I thought today what I would do is I'm going to get out of the house a little bit today. And I thought I would go and do a um, Christmas in July video and kind of go look at Christmas decorations that are up at different places. Um, I'm thinking like Michaels might have something up and who else might have something up? Oh, Hobby Lobby, I know for sure has stuff up. Um, and then I needed to go to Lane Bryant. Oh, which I need to go really quickly and see if I have my, you know, real women dollars or whatever. Let's go see my real women dollars. Lights. Right. Okay, okay so I found um, some Real Women dollars that were right here. These are from June, so these are already expired, so I need to toss those. These ones don't start until August 3rd through the 12th, so I can't use those yet. So I'm just going to have to wait. I put them in my little drawer of hiding my stuff, and then these need to go in the trash. Um, I actually have a um, Grove haul that I need to do as well, and... Uh, yeah, so I have quite a few things that I have to do. I'm going to be doing a um, July empties coming up too. So, yeah, fun stuff. Fun stuff happening. So, let's go check out some Christmas decorations. We'll still go to Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant isn't open for another 40 minutes or so. Um, 
which kind of you know what though i can go to at home because at home is out there as well so maybe at home has some christmas decorations up or fall decorations um and not that i'm in the mood for christmas or fall right now sorry it's a little close up and not that i'm in the mood for that stuff right now but just to kind of be you know christmas in july ish let's go check sorry garage door going up oh and then i bought let's see Ugh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to hit you guys. Um, I bought that box right there. This one. Um, that is two dressers slash nightstands. And if I remember, I will insert a picture of those here. They are from IKEA. They are unfinished. Um, nightstands dressers and I'm going to finish them and I'm gonna put them in our bedroom because they have three drawers each and I just kind of needed a little bit more space and room for some things and I couldn't find the right dresser to put in our room well it's not a dresser we have that dresser I needed a chest of drawers what's the difference dresser is what I have right a chest of drawers is taller a chest of drawers is what I have in my glam room but so I'm gonna do that paint those up again there I go with the painting <laughs> um but those are gonna go in my room so those are something I'm gonna be working on this week I didn't have any plans to go anywhere this week actually I just kind of wanted to stay home and just relax and veg um but I just, I, I just thought I'd get out of the house and just kind of go and share some Christmas decorations and stuff with you guys, fall decorations, see what they've got new at Hobby Lobby and um, and stuff like that. So maybe that's what I'll do real quick. I'll just go to Hobby Lobby and then just make my way into um, Snellville and go to Lane Bryant when it opens at 10. So yeah, let's go do some, you know, holiday decor shopping. I'm not going to buy anything. I just want to go look. Alrighty, so I decided to go to Lane Bryant first because I went and got a Starbucks because what is like Christmas and fall decor shopping, window shopping without a hot Starbucks to go with it? So, um, but I waited forever for that and so I just said, you know what, I'm just going to go to Lane Bryant when it opens. So they got about eight minutes until they open. So I am going to run into TJ Maxx really quick and just kind of walk around, see what they have in there and then... Um, and then I'll go to then I'll go to Lane Bryant afterwards. Um, what I'm going into Lane Bryant for is they have, I've heard, they have their um, like shorts on sale for like 25 bucks right now, and. Um, uh, Lisa Brian's cousin Lisa was wearing some this weekend and normally they're like $60 and I am not paying $60 for a pair of shorts but I will pay $25 for a pair of shorts um, and they had the scalloped edges which is so cute so I'm here to see if they have them if they don't then I won't get anything um, but for now I think I'm gonna go walk in um, TJ Maxx and see what I can find in there see what kind of new Ray Dunn stuff that they have so let's go take I'm, I don't know what's wrong with my I feel like I have well I don't have anything on my nose but it just looks like I did. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, so Lane Bryant is now open. So I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find some shorts. Okay, so they're not on sale. But this is what the white ones look like. They're so cute, but they're like baggy. These ones fit so nicely. But these are so baggy. Um, these are an 18 though, and they fit nice here. Um, they're really cute. I'm gonna try on a 16. Alrighty, I'm at Hobby Lobby. Let's go look at some fall and Christmas decorations. Okay. We're gonna start with the fall stuff. Loving some of this stuff. Like this, that's super cute. Um, I actually thought it was like galvanized tin, but it's not, or is that the same thing? Galvanized, um, but it's wood. Cute anyway though, I like it. These are cute too. And it looks like right now, all their fall home and party decor crafts are 40% off. So that's nice. Great fall. I like that too. That's cute. See, this is what I like. Those are cute. But I really love this buffalo checkered print stuff. This stuff is super cute. How much are these? $10 with 40% off. And then they have a table runner. I love that. 
and this. Oh my god, wouldn't that be cute like in the dining room? If I put like this on the dining room table and then hung this on the um, china cabinet, that would be so cute. Okay, so this is $9.99 with 40% off. I like that idea. So I think I'm going to get that. And then this is $15.99 with 40% off. So I think I'll get that as well. Because that's really cute. I love that. And I love these pumpkins and stuff too. And the plates. These are nappies. So you get an orange one as well. That's cute. This is so fun. I love this. I love all of this. Welcome friends. That's cute. This is $3.99. Code code cute. With 40% off. That's really cute. What does this say? Thankful. just now starting to get some of the Christmas stuff out. They don't have all of it out yet, but aren't these the cutest little things? These are really cute. These are $3.99. And I don't think that they have any of their um, Christmas stuff on clearance yet, but I love that. That would fit perfectly with my Christmas tree decor. But yeah, so this is, they don't have a lot out right now. Um, they do have their trees up though. Cute. They have more ornaments over here. Cute. See, I like these too. These ones, the galvanized. Those are really pretty. And this one. So pretty. I'd actually like these trees for like the front porch. Like this little one. I would like this one for the little for the front porch. Cute. This one looks like it lights up or they're just putting Christmas lights on it. Very cute though. I like that. I love that big tree. Because I actually have to buy a new tree this year. So, um, not for $700 though. No, no, no. And not for $500 though. No, no, no. They have a bacon ornament. Like, who would put bacon on their tree? Um, no. These are cute though. I like these and I like these ones. Very cute. So they have like um, shatterproof. I don't know if these are like real galvan. Oh, no, they are real galvanized. Christmas ornaments. Those are really heavy, but those are super cute. And then they have some with the trucks on them, which are very popular. Love those. These are $13.99. And again, they don't have anything 50% um, off or 40% off yet. But they have lamb's ear too with like crystal or, you know. stuff as well which I love Christmas card stock it's so pretty love it this one's really cute too really cute love that Alrighty guys, so I made it back from kind of doing my little running around and showing you guys new Christmas stuff and fall stuff that they have out at Hobby Lobby this year. Uh, I wanna show you guys a few things that I picked up while I was out. I told you guys I went to Hobby Lobby, which I did um, a Christmas video, which I did the Christmas thing. You guys just watched that. Um, I also went to TJ Maxx before Lane Bryant opened. I did get some stuff at Lane Bryant's. I think I'm gonna do a separate video on that and show you guys what I got. Um, but for now, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at TJ Maxx first. Okay, so I only picked up two things at TJ Maxx, which was this cute little jar. I love this thing. It's got cute little like 
roosters on it. Love it. I love the top of it. It just says farmer's kitchen and I'm just going to put this in my kitchen. It was, it's just so cute. I love it. Just perfect for farmhouse kitchen. Um, and the price of this was, uh, $5.99. That right there and then um <clears throat> i got a new ray dunn mug this one just says cheers on it this one was 5.99 so those are the only two things that i picked up at tj maxx um what i picked up at hobby lobby which i kind of showed you guys when i was doing my video which i picked up this table runner which i absolutely love i'm going to put in the dining room and then this banner which again absolutely love and i'm going to put in the dining room um on the china cabinet when that time comes and then um i picked this up so this is a one of those fall um like wooden signs that you guys see that i have out front that says welcome this one just says hello fall and then on the back of it it says boo to you oh my gosh so it's like a two-in-one absolutely love it it was 40 percent off of the price right here, which is um, $29.99. So regularly $30. I bought all of this stuff at Hobby Lobby, this and these two things for 35 bucks. So pretty much got this for free because it was 40% off. And I, if I didn't see the Boo you on the back, I was kind of like, eh, I'm not gonna get the fall one. It's just, I don't need to. And then I saw the Boo you and I'm like, oh, okay, sold because it's a twofer, a two for one. You get to use it two times, which is so wonderful. Absolutely love it. So I'm very, very excited about that. And then um, I also wanted to show you guys, you know the little papers that they wrap stuff up in TJ Maxx or sometimes even Hobby Lobby wraps their stuff up in these. These things are really good just to keep handy for when you are wrapping stuff up. I just um, fold them all out and then just reuse them again to wrap stuff for the holidays, excuse me, or when I'm storing things. So um, just a little, you know, TMI. And then I went into Walgreens really quick, to, quick and I picked up some, this is a CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. Um, I like some of the colors in there, um, especially like this one and these over. These over, and not these, but these. Um, and then I picked up some um, CoverGirl. This is more like a clean matte look concealer. Um, I've never tried this one before, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. Um, and that was it for the stuff that I got while I was out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and put my little chicken thingy where it needs to go and put my Ray Dunn mug in the wash so I can get it washed up. And then I think I'll sit down and do my Lane Brain video. Oh, and my Grove collab. Let me go get that stuff out and show you guys what I got from um, Grove. Um, this is cute. I gotta pull the little price tags off of it. But let me go get my Grove box and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Grove Alrighty, this so month. so this is the stuff that I got from Grove this month. I actually wanted to get a couple of these um, like recycled plastic containers with lids. I thought this would be a really good thing to keep um, like salsa in for when we go next door or whatever. I really like that. It's got a really nice tight fit to it. So I like that. And then I got a smaller one too for just, you know, maybe I want to bring something with me in my purse or, you know, um, cooler or something, just anything. But anyway, I got two of those, one each. Uh, and then I got a loofah thingy. I'm not exactly sure. Like, I don't remember doing that. That might have been like the free thing this month or whatever, but um, I got some more hand soap in the lavender. And then I got um, the lemon verbena um, multi-surface spray. Love this stuff. I got two of the dish soaps because I use this stuff like all the time. Absolutely love this. I swear by it now. Um, this is what I use and have like over here. You guys can see I have it, um, kept over here really, really nicely. Um, so I got two of those and then I'm going to try the Method Body. This is the Citrus Ginger Sea Buck Thorn energy boost body wash. Um, it just looks really nice. I'm not sure exactly what the scent is yet. Like, oh, I know what the scent is. I just haven't smelled it yet. Let me see if I can open it up and smell it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, it does kind of smell nice. Hmm. So I'm excited to use that. And then um, I got this is the real simple clean cooktop cleaner and then this is the granite countertop cleaner so 
I'm hoping that both of these I can use for, you know, my cooktop cleaner and then my countertops here. And then I got some wash rags because I really like these kind of wash rags. Um, I've been kind of getting rid of some of my old dingy ones and just kind of adding to new ones. Um, I think this is just one. This is a kitchen towel. Use and care, machine wash cold, tumble dry. So this is just a kitchen towel. But again, love these. I love these. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're just, they're so cute. Um, I don't know what else I can say about it. They're just so good. So cute. But I'm going to put this stuff away. And then um, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get this video edited since it's going to take a few minutes because I, um, I'm actually going to go outside and get the mail. Um, hold on. Alrighty, so I had to pull the garbage can up as well. Got the mail. And yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, call it a day on vlogging. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today. I just kind of thought maybe I'd get out of the house, share that with you guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Angie and Wonderland. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you guys something. Okay. Two things. <laughs> let's have it. Let's let's chit chat for a second. Um, let me turn this down. I'm watching 90210 again. But let me go ahead and turn this down, and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about something that we have we have planned in the works. Okay, so you guys know that over the weekend Brian's cousin was here. Well, they had went on a cruise back in November, and Brian and I, Brian and I, we've always tossed up the idea of going on a cruise, but I've always been so scared and so leery about going on a cruise because when we went to St. Thomas a couple of years ago, um, we went with Lisa and Devin, the ones that were here this weekend. Um, we went on a catamaran and I got super, super seasick, like just sick, 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 sick. And I could not enjoy myself the second half of the trip because I was so sick, um, on that catamaran. So, um, I was like, I'm just so afraid to get on a cruise ship. And I know everybody has said cruise ships are different. You don't feel it, but I've heard that you do. And people who, um, are like, and I don't get motion sickness but I got sick from that. So Brian and I, and people have asked before, like in Q and A's, are you guys ever gonna go on a cruise? You guys should go on a cruise ship, blah, blah, blah. Well, I think Brian and I are gonna go on a cruise this fall. So uh, Lisa has been looking up some cruises for us and um, I was looking at some last night. So the possibility of us going on a cruise looks pretty positive for the end of this year, towards the end of this year, maybe October, November-ish. So I'm really excited about that. And if you guys have ever been on a cruise, let me know like what was your favorite thing on a cruise? And if you guys got seasick, what did you guys do to help prevent that? I've heard, you know, taking Dramamine. I've heard that you could put like a patch behind your ear. Um, I, so I'm a little like, you know, does that work? Does that help? Um, is there anything else that I can do to, um, you know, prevent that from happening um and then let me know what cruise line you guys went on where you guys ported from departed from and like what where do you guys went and if you guys enjoyed it and if you guys recommend cruises all that good stuff and then another thing that we're doing brian and i are going to savannah next week we are leaving i'm not sure exactly what day it is um we're leaving one day next week to go to savannah and then we're going to be spending the weekend in hilton head with some friends of ours which was actually brian's friend as he was kind of growing up and going through his like rc racing and stuff like that so um we are actually going to be staying at their house on the weekend but for three days two nights, three days, Brian and I are going to be in Savannah. So I'm very, very excited about that. I have a couple of reservations for us. We're going to be eating at the old pink house, which is in Savannah, a very popular place to eat. Um, I'm also going to be, I have reservations for the pirate house, which is another popular place to eat. Those two places have been on my bucket list. And I've like, I said, next time I go to Savannah, that's where I'm eating. So we're going to be eating those, there those, those two nights. And then while Brian is um, doing business, because he's going to be there for business during the days, the two days, that, the two days that we're going to be there, um, he's going to be there for business while I'm going to be out, you know, um, 
exploring Savannah and going to, I'm planning on going to Forsyth Park. I know it's very, very pretty there, so I plan on doing that. There's a couple of other places that I want to go visit while I'm there. Um, if you guys have ever, I know we've been to Savannah before, but I just have like things on my bucket list that I want to go do. But if you guys have any suggestions and like, oh, you must go see this, you must go try this, you must go eat here, leave me a comment below, let me know, and um, I will try to go check that out if I have time. Um, but I do know the two nights that we are going to be there, I already have reservations for the evening time. But I'm trying to find maybe something like, you know, very simple mom and pop's place to eat, um, just a quick sandwich bite to eat during the day while I'm alone um, so leave me a couple of suggestions below if you have any and then um, we're gonna be in Hilton Head as well okay so those are the two things that I wanted to share with you guys and um, I'm looking forward to both of these like little trips um, well the cruise is gonna be like seven days I think we're gonna do like a seven day cruise so oh, kind of scared and nervous and all that good stuff but um, I'll give you guys more details as the details come to, for us because we haven't like booked one yet we haven't decided yet we're still kind of like looking around um planning and dates and all that good stuff so um yeah i'm excited i'm excited and nervous at the same time because cruises oh, i just don't want to be sick on the cruise and it ruined my whole vacation and then we spent all that money on a cruise and angie is sick the whole time that would suck that would suck so bad so um but anyway okay guys i'm gonna go thank you guys so much see you guys tomorrow bye